Do 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 It's another day. It's another live stream. We are all here once again together. Yes. <laughs> it is happening everyone. We are once more live across the internet. That wonderful thing that has become our best friend over the past few weeks. I would say I would definitely say that everyone is now loving the internet more than they ever thought they would oh look at the view it's quite nice today quite a nice day a little blustery there is some wind however things are not too bad and I hope you are feeling good today as well so here we go again we are back yes it's <laughs> it's Monday everyone yes we've made it all away to a new week oh here I am hi everybody this is mr. Duncan in England how are you today are you okay I hope so are you happy I hope you are feeling happy today I really do because I don't feel too bad last night I had the most wonderful sleep I don't know what it is recently I don't know why recently I've had some wonderful sleeps I felt rested and really relaxed I don't know why because we are not living in relaxed times I think it is safe to say we are definitely not living in relaxed times as I just said yes we are here once again it's the start of a new week it's Monday it is a new week a new beginning for some people <laughs> and here we are in the UK we are in our eighth week this is week eight of our lockdown across the UK how are you feeling are you okay about it are you hoping and wishing that all of this will return to normal well we might have to wait a little bit longer to be honest can you see what I'm doing today I'm actually doing some chores today I'm having to do my chores traditionally here in the UK you might not believe this but many years ago I always remember it was a kind of tradition to do your washing on Monday so you would wash your clothes every Monday I don't know why it became traditional but it did happen so I always remember my mother would always do her washing on Monday and here I am right now continuing that tradition right now so I've been doing my my whites today so when you do your white clothing here you can see I have my white clothing all of the things in here are white so they will keep their brightness and they are not mixed with anything else that has a dark color you see so that's why I always wash my whites together and I have a feeling that you also do the same thing look at that all of my lovely white clothes so these are clothes that are now clean and fresh oh look at that there is one of my favorite shirts have you ever have you ever seen this shirt before this is one of my favorite t-shirts here it is Doo -doo -doo. there is my lovely t-shirt that was given to me by one of my lovely friends in Malaysia when I was in Malaysia one of my friends went to Langkawi which is in Malaysia and he gave me this wonderful t-shirt isn't that fantastic and to this very day it remains one of my most favorite t-shirts I don't think I'm trying to remember now I'm not sure if I've ever worn this have I ever worn this 
in one of my English lessons? I don't think so. So maybe for some people this might be the first time that you ever seen this t-shirt. And it happens to be one of my favorite t-shirts. I've had this t-shirt <laughs> for I've had it since 1998. 22 years. 22 years I've had this t-shirt. It still looks okay. I always take care of my clothes, as you know. So this particular t-shirt, I might wear this one day. Although some people might think that the imagery is offensive. I don't know why. Oh, yes, I do remember now. I remember I did wear this t-shirt on one of my video lessons a very long time ago. And someone said that that t-shirt is is possibly racist i don't know why i don't i don't think there's anything offensive about this t-shirt it, it's quite a, f a fun t-shirt i do like the design it always makes me feel like going on holiday i don't know why when i see it i always remember my lovely hot days in malaysia i hope one day i will be able to travel again i hope we all will be able to travel again to be honest I really do so now you know what I've been doing today what about you when do you normally do your washing when do you normally wash your clothes is there a certain day when you do it here in the UK quite often we do it on Monday I don't know why don't don't ask me why <laughs> I just remember that my mother would always do it on Monday even my grandmother I used to go and stay with my grandmother sometimes at the weekend and on Monday morning she would always be very active doing all of her chores including her washing Monday once again Monday hello to the live chat oh hello live chat I haven't forgotten you don't worry hello to the live chat nice to see you here today hello to flower espoir hello to you guess what mm, you're right you are first on today's live chat yeah nice to see you here today and I'm really happy to see your comments as well even though there was one one man yesterday I'm assuming it was a man <laughs> he said <laughs> Duncan do you realize how irritating you are me irritating surely not well my reply to that would be if you don't like it you can watch something else there are many many people doing live streams at the moment all sorts of celebrities yes all of the celebrities have now got their own live streams <laughs> they are catching up with me because I started it over four years ago four years ago I started doing my live streams and most people were still recording their videos and I was doing it live a long time ago in a galaxy far far away <gasps> talking of which yes today today is a special day it is the 4th of May or as some people like to say May the 4th <laughs> you know what I'm you know what I'm getting at because you can see my little friend behind me there is R2D2 in the garden having a little sunbathe recharging his batteries because he is solar powered you see very environmentally friendly yes and it is Star Wars day they often say that May the 4th is the day when people talk about Star Wars because May the 4th be with you you see instead of May the force be with you May the 4th be with you I suppose if you are on the dark side if you are on the dark side you might say may the sith be with you which is in two days time so maybe two days from now you might say may the sith be with you because it will be may the sixth you see 
Yeah, that's my idea, by the way. No one else has ever thought of that. I'm the first person to suggest May the Sith on May the 6th. So if anyone else does it, you, you will know that they copied it from me, OK? <laughs> so if anyone else starts saying, May the Sith be with you on the 6th of May, you can tell them, hey, that's Mr. Duncan's idea. He started it. So I'm the first person ever in the world, in the history of human beings, to ever say, to ever say, may the sixth or may the Sith be with you. So on May the 4th, you can have the bright side of the force and may the Sith can be May the 6th. You see, can you see what I did there? I made a funny hello to the live chat also hello Annie hello Annie Corn nice to see you back here again Mosen is here it's Monday the beginning of a new week although for many people it doesn't feel much different from the weekend because every day is the same day every day is the same it really is hello Leela hello also Beatrice George, nice to see you here today hello also to Irene and Cantana hello to you I like your name Cantana nice nice name I like that I like your name very much also Karan Kareem Mika is here hello to Mika hello Irene again hello also to Vitas Hello Vitas, what happened to your fast finger? What happened? Maybe you are resting your fingers for a few days. I was wondering what happened to you today because normally you are one of the first people on the live chat normally. So maybe your finger is having a rest because you've been using it too much. Ooh, very nice. Hello Palmyra, also Christine Bro Capron. Hello to you as well. Can I say thank you for your lovely donation as well a couple of days ago? Thank you very much. Guillermo. Hello, Guillermo. Watching in Argentina. You might notice the weather today is very strange because we are having lots of cloud, but also now and again the sun is coming out to say hello. Hello to the sun. So now and again you might notice the sun come out. You might also notice that there are blackbirds feeding in my garden. Can you see them? There they are. There is one of them. There, there are some blackbirds. And at the moment, they have chicks that they are feeding. So many of them are taking care of their eggs. Also, they are rebuilding their nests. So sometimes when the nest is being used, sometimes the nest will be damaged by the chicks in the nest. So sometimes they have to repair their nests as well. And for some blackbirds, there are chicks. So some of the blackbirds are actually taking care of their chicks right now. And there, there is one of the blackbirds on the grass behind me. Can you see? There. Hello, Mr. Blackbird. We can see you. Hello. Can you see me? I think so. The interesting thing is the blackbirds don't care anymore if I'm standing here. If I'm standing here talking to you, the blackbirds will just carry on doing what they're doing. <laughs> they don't even care that I'm here because they've become accustomed. They have become accustomed to my presence. They know I am here all the time. Adrian is here as well. Adrian Floorman, nice to see you. It's nice to see you again. Thank you. I hope that Mr. Steve feels better. <laughs> Can I just say, we watched yesterday's live stream together and poor Mr. Steve, 
he looked so sad sitting in that chair however today you will be pleased to hear that mr. Steve feels much better he doesn't have much choice really because he's having to do some work because it's the start of the week even though Steve is now working from home he still has to do work at the time when he's normally working so that's what Steve is doing now but yesterday he was sitting in the chair in the garden looking very sad <laughs> I thought so <laughs> and so did many other people but for those who are worried Steve is feeling much better much better hello also to Francesca hello Anna Pika today you will have to hang your washing up mr. Duncan thank you Anna I am going to put my washing in the house so sometimes I like to dry my washing in the house well in fact there are two reasons for that one it's quite convenient and the other thing is I am standing in the place where I normally hang my washing so every day <laughs> my gazebo is here but unfortunately because I'm doing this every day I can't hang my washing here so this is the very place where my washing would normally be hanging in fact I suppose I could hang it here in my gazebo maybe I can hang it here <laughs> all around me no I don't think so I don't think that that would work somehow hello Zuzika hello Zuzika nice to see you again it seems like a long time since I said hello to you so nice to see you back as well hello Tamara I'm sorry for my awful mistake yesterday saying that I use caustic soda instead of baking soda or bicarbonate of soda it's all right you don't have to apologize that there was no mistake so don't worry about it if anyone made the mistake it was mr. Steve did you see yesterday what mr. Steve did he 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 has some he has something called caustic soda which is a very dangerous substance to be honest you have to be very careful how you use it if you get it on your skin it will burn it will actually burn into your skin it is horrible stuff it really is so Tamara you don't have to worry at all Mohsen said I like the art on the t-shirt yes I think it's a nice t-shirt although some people were slightly offended by it I don't know why but I think it's a lovely t-shirt it is it is a fun happy design hello also Mrinal Mrinal Singh is here as well I am distracted today because there are lots of chicks around me there is actually a baby robin just behind me in fact I can hear it I can hear a baby robin <laughs> and it's very distracting I want to I want to go into the garden and have a look at all of the chicks because there are lots of lovely chicks in the garden at the moment being fed by their parents hello to grace oh hello grace I haven't been to Langkawi before I've heard it's a very nice place I've never been there myself but one of my friends who is well he is Malaysian and quite often people in Malaysia will visit Langkawi there are many lovely places in Malaysia to visit some very nice islands as well hello to Maria I'm saying hello to Maria on a very bright but breezy Monday rather breezy today hello also just variation nice to see you as well we are doing a live stream this is one of my more informal <laughs> Jenny Wren that was Jenny Wren saying hello there so, so normally during the week when I'm doing my daily live streams normally I am a little bit more relaxed so this is not one of my English addict lessons because I normally do those on Monday Wednesday and Friday so today it's relaxed today we are just chilling having a nice 
relaxing Monday so that's what I like to do on Monday but normally I teach English on YouTube and I've been doing it forever such a long time a very long time indeed many many years in fact Giuseppe says I learned most of my English thanks to you I started in 2011 oh thank you very much Giuseppe nice to hear that you're nice to hear that you were helped by my English lessons Marina Singh says every day we wash our clothes in India so that's interesting you see so we normally allow our clothing to pile up and then we wash it once a week so that's what we do here so every Monday sometimes Tuesday I will do the washing so that's what I've been doing this morning I'm, I don't just prepare my live streams you know I do a lot of other things as well despite what Steve says yesterday did you hear what Steve said he said that he has to do all of the work that's not true it is not true Francesca my goodness Francesca maybe you have a very busy house I have to do my washing three times a week what three times a week that's a lot of washing Anna Pika says I can see your robot can you introduce your robot I will introduce my robot again there he is it's R2D2 from Star Wars because today is the 4th of May as many people say today is Star Wars Day may the 4th be with you and then two days later it will be may the Sith <laughs> may the Sith be with you you see instead of may the 6th and don't forget I created that I invented that I invented that I'm the best I'm the best hello also to Mika oh hello Mika nice to see you here I always like to say hello to my regular viewers and also if it is your first time don't forget to tell me as well if it is your first time here hello Lil yes the blackbird is looking for food that is what the blackbirds are busy doing at the moment because they have a lot of hungry chicks hungry chicks need feeding hello mr duncan my teacher is a big fan of you thank you ivan that's very kind of you to say and hello to your teacher as well hello to Rinal again thank you Adelina Adelina Marcos nice to see you here as well a lot of people here today thank you very much for joining me thank you Manuel the blackbird is like the Beatles song I'm not sure about that I'm not sure which Beatles song you are talking about I wonder hello also to Karan Karim what is mr. Steve's job oh ooh, I can't tell you that it's top secret it is very top secret trust me top secret <laughs> hello Liberty or death oh hello there mr. Duncan what is the answer here please you think of a brand name that's easy to pronounce should or must should write I'm not sure I'm not sure what you mean there I'm just trying to work out what what the context of your question is I'm not quite sure you must think oh I see you you, you can say you must think you must or you can or maybe if you are asking someone to think of a certain thing you might say you you must ask or could you or what I want you to do is think 
of a brand name so in fact there are many ways of introducing that as a question hello or of course a request as well hello to Al care mr. Duncan did you eat something good today I had my breakfast this morning and also later we will be having something to eat as well last night we had fresh salmon mr. Steve bought some salmon last week and we had a lovely salmon meal we often have that on Sunday I don't know why we, we often do things on certain days sometimes in your life as you do things you find that you have routines routines so when we talk about routines we are talking about things we do regularly every day we will do a certain thing so maybe on Monday you will do your washing on Tuesday maybe you will clean your house maybe on Wednesday you will go into town to do some shopping so quite often as you get older maybe maybe it has something to do with age I don't know but we often get into routines we have routines so a good example would be washing my clothes today quite often I do it on Monday I do it on Monday because my mum would always do it on Monday and it seems like a good tradition <laughs> so that is one of my routines and Tien Nguyen says nice background mr. Duncan the weather is okay today you can see now behind me you can see that all of the leaves all of the green has now come out in fact I think let's have a look at the other view I think this view is quite nice so there is the other camera and you can see the view right now looking across into the distance it is quite a nice day we were supposed to have a lot of sunshine but it would appear that <laughs> it is the opposite we're getting a lot of cloud today we might even get some rain it feels as if there might be some rain on the way so that is actually a live view at the moment you are looking into the distance at a live view <sighs> right behind me in fact so here we are Monday we have a lot of things to do we're going to talk about a few things we're going to have a look at a special series of lessons that I did in 2014 who remembers my May Day lessons do you remember my May Day lessons way back in 2014 I made a series of special lessons that I did during the month of May so today what I'm going to do I'm going to show the actual episode that I published on May the 4th which is the same date as today the only difference is it was way back in 2014 a long long time ago and we will have a look at that in a moment we also have Mr. Steve appearing later on although he won't be live unfortunately but it is a lovely recording that Mr. Steve made with me and it is the first time that he used his lawnmower so that's another thing we'll be looking at a little bit later on so who remembers my May Day lessons way back in 2014 well guess what now we are going to take a look at that very lesson it was a lesson that I published on this date way back in 2014 and even back then we were celebrating Star Wars Day oh hello there welcome to another one of mr. Duncan's May Days I'm mr. Duncan a human being from planet Earth hello did you know that today is a very special day yes 
it is a day with a very cool and super duper title. This is no ordinary May Day because today is Star Wars Day. On this day, everyone likes to say, May the 4th be with you. <laughs> Just like in the movie. Oh, I wish I could play some Star Wars music right now. But the copyright guys from Disney would be all over me. They'd be saying, hey, you can't play that music. That music belongs to us now. You are infringing our copyright. And that is the last thing I would want to do. There will be a new Star Wars movie coming out next year. Are you a fan of Star Wars? Are you excited about the new movie? Are you hoping that it will not turn out to be a big pile of pants like the last three? Me too. When water freezes, it turns to ice. It becomes solid. When heat is applied to ice, it begins to melt. The ice melts. If an object is frozen in ice, it also becomes solid. If heat is applied to the frozen object, then it begins to thaw. It thaws out. There are some idioms and phrases in English that concern ice. For example, break the ice. The phrase break the ice means to begin something or start something off. Normally this is used in social situations. If you approach a person you have never met before, then you will need to have something to say to them. You need to break the ice. A party needs a starting point. It needs something to break the ice. If you are going out on a date with someone, then you need an interesting subject to talk about. Small talk can be a form of this ice breaking. It is a method of getting a conversation and perhaps even a little bit more underway. Another idiom using ice is to be on thin ice. This phrase means that a person is pushing their luck. Someone is in danger of coming to harm because they are going too far with something. If you keep pushing your luck by taking risks, then we can say that you are on thin ice. We can also say that a person is skating on thin ice. This has a similar meaning. It means that if you keep doing the same thing, then you will come to harm. Another phrase is cold as ice. We can describe a person as being cold as ice if they have no feelings for others. This person seems to have no emotions. A person who hurts other people emotionally without showing any guilt or remorse can be described as being as cold as ice. To receive no positive emotion or response from a person or a group of people can be described as icy or frosty. He greeted me with an icy stare. The reception they gave me was frosty. Then there is see you on the ice. This expression means see you out there. You might say this before a performance to another person who is also taking part. The final ice phrase is don't cut no ice. This phrase means that a person or thing has no influence. Your mind cannot be changed and your decision will not be altered. Your kind words and excuses don't cut no ice with me. I have no idea what you're trying to say to me. I really love technology. It's so useful, not to mention cool.
The only problem with it is that there are so many words to learn and remember. The formal word for these phrases is terminology. Some of these words and phrases seem to make no sense and are hard to understand. We can also use the word jargon to describe these phrases. Many computer experts use jargon when they are explaining something. The average person will not understand what they are talking about. Could you please explain it to me simply without all the jargon? A person who is not familiar with a certain subject can be described as a layman. To simplify a subject can be described as putting it into layman's terms. In computing, there is a lot of jargon to understand. This is one of the reasons why people are put off or discouraged from learning about computing. Words such as bits and bytes, megabytes and terabytes, firewalls, bitmap, overwrite, boot, reboot, copy and paste, drag, encryption. What is the difference between software and hardware? The list goes on and on. Some examples of computer jargon. Firewall. In computing terms, a firewall is a system that filters information as it enters a computer. A firewall limits the information and the ability to access the computer. This prevents unauthorized users from accessing the computer and its contents. A firewall can be in a piece of software or hardware. A computer has the ability to store information. This is done digitally. Digital information consists of a series of ones and zeros. The computer is a digital machine, as it can only read information in this form. A computer reads information as one being on and zero being off. This type of information can also be called a binary system. Translated, it means a twofold signal. The simple construction of this system allows information to be stored in huge amounts, from the small kilobyte, which is a thousand bytes right up to the mind-blowing yottabyte, which is a trillion trillion bytes, or, to put it another way, a septillion bytes. Yes, there is such a word as septillion. To show you just how large a septillion is, counting up to it from one would take millions of years. I have received an email from Lena, who is following me in Russia. Lena asks what the word chav means. Well, Lena, I'm not sure where you heard this word, but it is not one that is used outside the UK. The word chav is a noun that refers to someone in their youth who behaves in an unsociable or loutish way and often wears fake or genuine designer sports clothes. It is a very derogatory and offensive term that emerged in the 1990s. To call someone a chav would be seen as appearing better than the subject. It is not used much these days, but references to it can still be seen in movies and TV programmes made during the 1990s and early 2000s. I was going to play my piece of music. I was. 
I was going to play my lovely piece of music then but maybe not okay we are back oh hello there did you enjoy that that was one of my May days that I recorded a very long time ago a long time ago we are saying that something happened in the past a long time ago it was long ago we are relating to something that happened in the past we can say not very long ago and that means recently a very long time ago means in the distant past so I hope that answers your question about that hello to everyone yesterday we had some fun with words were you watching yesterday did you get involved with my little contest yesterday I thought it went very well to be honest I thought it went rather well I thought so in a few minutes we will be looking at mr. Steve in the garden as well because he likes to get out in the garden doing his chores if there is one thing that Steve likes doing when he has some spare time he likes to go into the garden so we will be looking at that a little bit later on as well Tamara says of course the blackbirds love you very much and they don't want to leave you <laughs> their best friend that's nice yes I think sometimes the birds do come because they feel relaxed and maybe comfortable and safe maybe yes I think so today is a special day as you saw in my video just a few moments ago Ooh. it is May the 4th and this is my little R2 D2 do you like do you like R2 D2 isn't he lovely <laughs> he even works so this little R2 D2 actually does work he moves around and he he chats as well he actually talks although not at the moment not at the moment because if he starts talking now then, then I can't shut him up to be honest he's a little bit like mr. Steve once he starts talking it is very hard to get him to be quiet so this is my little r2d2 as a way of celebrating today's special day which is May the 4th <laughs> be with you mm -mm okay and don't forget also two days from now we have May the Sith <laughs> uh, that was my idea by the way I know someone will steal it someone will say no it was my idea I thought of May the Sith but no it was my idea I thought of it first okay so if you see it trending in two days time if you see it trending on Twitter or Facebook you will know that it came from me all right I started that off <laughs> sweetness says a lot of love for you mr. Duncan I am here as always however I have tons of things to do and my hands are so busy you might also say that your hands are full as well if you have a lot of things that you need to do lots of things you have to do many chores that you have to carry out we can also say that you, we, you have your hands full I have my hands full at the moment there are so many things that I have to do because I am so busy hello to Satyam hello Satyam Raj nice to see you here as well a lot of people joining in I know it's Monday and I know many people at the moment are starting to go back to work some people are now starting to go into town and some people are starting to open their businesses again they are reopening their businesses so things are slowly going back to normal however here in the UK as I said yesterday it looks as if we are a long way we are a very long way from going back to normal here in the UK to be honest with you Giuseppe hello mr. Duncan you mentioned me years ago when I said you are unique really I'm sure I must have mentioned you because you seem like someone who always likes to get in touch 
and also express your feelings so yes thank you very much once again Giuseppe that's very kind of you to say hello my dear teacher you are one of my best teachers who teaches me English well the way you are presenting your lessons thank you Mustafa you are welcome it's my pleasure we are here on Monday we always do things a little bit, bit more relaxed so we are quite relaxed today unlike my normal English addict lessons where there is a lot of things going on during this time we like to chat we like to keep each other company so I am doing the same thing as you at the moment we can't go around and visit other people unfortunately we are not allowed to do it and now we are into eight weeks so this week is week eight of the lockdown two months two months officially which means <laughs> I've been doing my regular live streams for almost two months as well I can't believe it I really can't hello Lan Lan Fung Lan Fung Nguyen says hello teacher and everyone nice to see you here thank you very much by the way you can have captions here is something I want to mention very briefly you can have captions on my live stream did you know that yes so as you are watching now if you do this mm. oh oh mr. Duncan if you do this press C on your keyboard don't enter it you don't have to enter it on the live chat just press just take your finger and press C for captions and subtitles and you can have them live on this actual stream if you are watching live it's incredible and also I can give a little bit of help as well if you are watching on your mobile device of course there is another way of getting captions and I will show you now all you have to do is go up there into the corner of your screen and you can go to the settings so go to the settings on your mobile phone and it looks like that it looks like that that is what it actually looks like and then you can click on the caption setting and there it is so you can actually have captions on your mobile device as well and that also includes on most mobile devices such as tablets and also the iPhone and Samsung smartphone as well so there are many ways of doing it you see many ways of getting captions on your screen so that's how you do it if you are watching on your PC just press C and of course as I just said if you are watching on your mobile phone all you have to do is go up there into the corner and you will find the settings at the top of the screen isn't that amazing oh I love modern technology very much I love it very very much Gulmero the breeze will help to dry the clothes faster but these days I don't know if I want it to happen faster well I don't really like the breeze if it's too strong because it interferes with my live streams it makes it very difficult to come outside however there is an upside and a downside we often say that with most things in life there is an upside a positive thing and a downside which is a negative thing so I often find with with whatever I do in life there is always an upside and a downside there's always something positive and always something negative I suppose it depends on your attitude I suppose what it all depends on is your attitude I think so <laughs> Mog Mog says oh today's guest is R2D2 I know all the way from Tatooine can you believe it that's where he's living now apparently he's living there with 
with Ray <laughs> hello to Ong Trum is mr. Steve a gardener he isn't he isn't a professional gardener <laughs> however he does enjoy doing the gardening he does enjoy being outside getting some fresh air and also some exercise because gardening is a great way to keep yourself fit so you are not only taking care of the garden you were also taking care of yourself at the same time yes I think so hello to Babylonian cartoons hello mr. Duncan I asked you what is the best way to introduce yourself to other people in the English language if you meet someone for the first time then quite often you will introduce yourself as well your name hi hello there nice to meet you my name is Duncan or my name is mr. Duncan <laughs> if you want to be formal so there are many ways of introducing yourself if you meet a person that you don't know then quite often you will just say hello or nice to meet you something very informal you don't have to be formal you can just say hi nice to meet you hello there so you don't really have to be too formal however if you are in a formal situation maybe you are going for a job interview maybe you are meeting a person for an important business meeting then of course you have to be more formal maybe you shake hands even though you can't do that at the moment maybe you can just say hi hello nice to meet you my name's Duncan uh, I'm here today for the interview and then maybe if you meet the person eventually you will walk into the office and maybe the person who is giving the interview meets you and you will just say once again you will say hi hi I'm mr. Duncan nice to see you today nice to meet you something like that so you don't have to be too precise you don't have to be too precise you might say good morning if you meet someone in the street you might just say good morning and that's it so there are many ways of introducing yourself I have a feeling what you mean is how to tell the person what your name is so you can just say hi hello nice to meet you my name's Duncan that's it or hi nice to meet you my name's Duncan and you are so you are actually then asking the other person to give them your name their name so you are asking them for their name hi my name's Mr. Duncan I'm very pleased to meet you nice to meet you and you are By that I am saying that I want to know what the other person's name is that's what I'm doing <sighs> my advice is always to hang the washing out to prevent the mold from growing on it feel free to do it and we will see you while you do it I can't hang my washing outside today because my <laughs> my gazebo the thing that I'm standing underneath is in the place where my my washing line normally is so this is the area where I normally hang my washing <laughs> so unfortunately I will have to hang the washing in the house at the moment I can't do it outside hello Fernando mr. Duncan hello Fernando Fernando race nice to see you as well <laughs> Adrian I like I like Adrian is noticing I love it that you are noticing my routines during the week so mr. Duncan it is curry on Fridays yes you are right and also salmon on Sundays once again you are right yes so that is a couple of our routines and quite often here's another one that you might not know on Wednesday quite often on Wednesday we will have pizza oh so pizza on Sunday curry on Friday salmon on Sunday so there you can see there is a routine quite often we will have a routine 
with our meals sometimes we will have the same thing on the same day every week hello Andy star hello Andy star nice to see you as well mr. Duncan do you agree with this the days of our youth are the days of our glory well I think being young is pretty cool to be honest being young is very nice however one of the big problems with being young is quite often you don't realize that you are young sometimes you have to make sure that if you are talking to someone who is young and they don't they don't know what to do with their lives maybe you should say your youth is valuable when you are young you have everything around you for the taking you really do sometimes we don't realize it though quite often and this is something I've done so I'm not I'm not blaming other people I'm also talking about my own experience as well I often realize that in my young years maybe there were many opportunities or many things that I could have pursued that I didn't you see so sometimes youth is there we are young we feel healthy and fit and we think this is how it's always going to be unfortunately it isn't we all have to learn that lesson we all have to learn that lesson however just because you become older just because you get old doesn't mean you have to start acting old life is still there you still have it as I always say whilst I have breath in my body I will still try to do my best in this world hello also to Al care or AI care <laughs> hello also Damien Balbina hello to you I like the little hills they are very nice thank you very much Tamara says that the view behind you is nice it isn't too bad today I, I must be honest with you the view today is quite nice I thought it was going to rain fortunately it hasn't so far <laughs> liberty or death I think I think liberty or death is getting me to do the homework <laughs> I'm not sure if I should be doing your homework for you <laughs> it is kind of cheating because if you give this to your teacher tomorrow they will think oh very good very good you've worked very hard but in fact you've asked me to help you and give you the answers so I think sometimes you have to be very careful when you ask other people to help you to do your homework because the idea is for you to do your homework and if you ask someone else to give you the answers then you are not really doing the work that is the reason why they call it homework you see home work <laughs> not ask mr. Duncan work <laughs> but I do know what you mean you should or you must think of a brand name that is easy to pronounce well I suppose you could say both really something you have to do if you have no choice to do it you will say should you should think you should think of a brand name that is easy to pronounce or if it is very urgent and something you have to do straight away you must you must do it it is a strange question to be honest it is a rather strange question because quite often how quickly or how much we need something to happen is often based on urgency urgency but I would say should to be honest I would say should you should think of a name that is easy to pronounce because you are giving advice to someone so if you are offering advice quite often we will say should you should think of a brand name that is easy to pronounce hello to Anarita 
hello to Rishma hello to Valor hello Valor I like your name by the way that's a great name I like it a lot I haven't seen Luis Mendez today has anyone seen Luis Mendez I haven't seen him on the live chat if anyone knows what has happened to Luis Mendez please tell me the birds are chirping they sound very happy says Devi yes I don't know why but the birds at the moment are singing when in fact I think they should be taking care of their young they are having far too much fun <laughs> did you like that did you enjoy that I think the birds were singing personally for you I think that song from the birds was actually for you not me hello to Prakash would anyone like to talk to me on whatsapp so we can improve our English fluency there are many opportunities and I think whatsapp is something that has become very popular with people who are communicating with each other especially during these difficult times whatsapp has become quite a powerful tool I think so hello Johnny Bath hello Johnny Bath or is it Johnny Bat hello to everyone hello to you as well thank you very much for joining me for those who are wondering my name is Duncan I talk about the English language I also present English addict today we are just doing something very informal a little bit of relaxation whilst we all enjoy our isolation <laughs> we are trying our best we are making the best of a bad situation that is what we are trying to do hello Maria yes the birds are awesome they are at the moment can you see the blackbird there is actually a blackbird on my grass there hello mr. black hello mr. blackbird I can see you <laughs> so in the distance there is a blackbird right there he is looking for food and I have a feeling maybe he has a nest with some little chicks inside hello Marina hello to you Marina it's nice to see you here Vitas today I saw that the shore swallows have returned after wintering this year it happened much much earlier than last year isn't it great because quite often in many countries including here you will have birds that migrate so they will come here to the UK at certain times of the year normally to get away from the cold weather so yes you are right yes we we do have a lot of migrating birds they are birds that come here and then after they go back to where they were migrating birds hello also to oh can I say hello to Belarusia Belarusia nice to see you here thank you very much for joining me nice to see you back I hope everything is all right and I hope the meal that you had the other evening I hope it was nice as well oh in fact I think it was lunch you were making lunch the other day weren't you I hope it was delicious I really do hello also to Reshma again who is Sally saying hello to Belarusia have the swallows returned yet we have swallows swifts and also house martins so they are all birds that suddenly appear around this time of year so they are all coming from other places and they will come to the UK during the summer months when it is nice and warm we are going to take a little break mr. Steve is a person who loves going into the garden it is true however 
sometimes Steve has to do a lot of preparation before he can begin his work especially if it is the first time that he's doing it in that year so here is mr. Steve preparing to cut the grass for the first time after the winter break and then after that we will be back live again oh hello mr. Steve oh hello mr. Duncan so can you tell us what you are doing today it looks very interesting well this blade has been sharpened because it was a bit blunt for the lawnmower so I took the blade off myself took it to this uh, uh, place and they've sharpened it for me uh, they did it for free which was very good because I bought some oil off them and a new spark plug and now I'm going to fit it back on again and then I need to cut the grass because it's getting a bit long so I'll put this back on having determined which way round it goes we think I've disconnected the spark plug for safety because we don't want this accidentally going off although there is no petrol in it because I haven't used it yet this year but nevertheless we don't want to take any risks what's that particular thing you've got in your hand now that's a socket wrench and that can be used for it's a very handy tool for undoing bolts and also for taking the spark plug out Tell us a bit more about the spark plug, Mr. Steve. What exactly does the spark plug do? The spark plug is a, a very important part of a petrol engine because as the name suggests, the spark goes across the gap in the spark plug and that ignites the fuel, the petrol, going into the cylinder. And in this particular lawnmower, there's only one cylinder. Uh, so we only have one spark plug, but in a car you might have four or five or six or eight, if you're lucky. <laughs> and so that ignites the, the fuel and air mixture which uh, powers the whole machine. Is it important to get the gap in the spark plug correct? It is. You need to have the correct gap because if it's too wide, you won't get a spark at all. And if it's too narrow, the spark won't be bright enough or powerful enough and then you'll lose power in the engine so you need to get it just about right there's a little bit of tolerance there so uh, it, you don't have to be absolutely spot on but you have to try and get it accurate and you also have to have a nice clean spark plug otherwise uh, it won't fire properly I would clean the spark plug using a small wire brush so what tool do you use to make sure that the gap on the spark plug is correct? I use a feeler gauge. So by using the feeler gauge you can actually tell whether the gap in the spark plug is correct. That's right because the feeler gauge has a whole different range of sizes here which you can put between the gap and if it fits perfectly you know it's the right gap. If it isn't, you can widen it or, 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 or narrow it. Uh, so this is in millimetres. So I've got uh, 0.63, which is that one. And then I've got 0.5, I've got half a millimetre, I've got 0.2. And you can stack them up together to get the right gap. So the gap in that spark plug needed to be between 0.6 and 0.8 millimetres. So I've got a 0.63, which would have been fine, but I just put it, added on a 0.04 to it just to get it nearly up to 7.7, which is just where I think it needs to be. Oh, it looks as if Mr. Steve is now ready. He's going to start mowing the lawn. Thank you. 
I hope you enjoyed that Mr. Steve as usual being a very busy bee in the garden <laughs> yes we are live on Monday we are back live it is Monday May the 4th be with you I hope you are having a good day wherever you are in the world thank you Steve for showing us your lovely lawnmower there by the way the word spot on Mr. Steve said something that you are doing must be spot on it's a very interesting phrase very interesting phrase indeed something that is spot on is precise precise so you have to have something that is spot on spot on it is precise it is accurate it is something that is spot on you might look at your watch and say is your watch correct and I will say yes it's it's spot on the time on my watch is correct it is spot on absolutely exactly precise it is 20 minutes past three o'clock here in the UK it is just approaching 20 past three and I hope you are having a good day today wherever you are in the world we were talking about birds earlier and I thought I would show you one of my favorite birds one of my all-time favorite birds one of the birds that I love seeing in the garden even though quite often I don't see them very often I don't see them often however when I do see them I feel very excited and here is the bird this is a long tailed tit <laughs> well this isn't this is actually a toy but as you can see the long tailed tit has a very long tail hence the name and it has a lovely little song as well So this is one of my favorite birds a very small bird almost almost the smallest bird in the UK however we also have the Jenny Wren the Wren is also a very small bird and also the gold crest as well a gold crest is a very small bird so there it is a little long tailed tit Mr. Duncan can you say that yes I can I can because that's the name of the bird you see I'm not being rude ah, so there yeah I love it and I suppose I can't forget this this is the lovely gift that I received a couple of weeks ago and this is my little missile thrush or song thrush should I say so there are many different types of thrush there is a missile thrush which looks very similar to this and there is a song thrush which is this one and it has a beautiful song <laughs> like that thank you very much once again to you know who you are thank you very much for sending this to me it is so lovely I look at this every day and I always give it a little stroke and I say hello Mr. Song Thrush are you going to sing a song for me today I don't know what this is doing here because this is not a bird Mr. Duncan that is not a bird that's not a type of bird I don't know what this is doing here Mr. Sheep you are not a bird okay but I have a feeling that you want to try to fly would you like to have a go at flying okay off you go fly away wow have you ever seen a sheep fly hello to Andy Starr again the favorite birds of my wife are pigeons I think pigeons are interesting birds however sometimes they can be very annoying especially when they are outside your window in the morning and they are making lots of noise so sometimes pigeons can be a little annoying the last bird you have shown us has lots of spots on its chest yes 
the thrush the song thrush is a very distinctive bird it is very easy to spot quite often you will hear it in the evening singing its beautiful song my daughter will love those toys thank you valeria they are available in many places around the world as i understand so yes maybe where you are you can get one for your daughter as well hello to mosen hello mosen with your lovely oh that looks like <laughs> are those ducks those look like ducks on the live chat i think they might be ducks or are they doves they might be doves i can't see very clearly you see because they're very very small on my screen i think they might be doves maybe they are doves bringing peace perhaps a little bit of peace wouldn't that be lovely it would be ever so nice thank you i mean mr duncan what is your favorite film or series i don't really have one favorite however there are many tv shows i like watching some i like to watch many many times there are some tv shows that i can watch again and again without ever feeling bored to be honest hello also to noemi noemi is saying hello liberty or death again says you <laughs> if you keep asking me this uh, i i'm not sure if i'm going to answer because i'm not helping you with your homework it isn't my job to do your homework for you to be honest i'm going to be honest with you i know it's not fair and you are going to say mr duncan you are so cruel but if you are doing your homework and you are asking me for the answers then sometimes you have to come up with the answer yourself you must or you should think of a brand name that is easy to pronounce i think i've already answered this i have a feeling i'm going round and round in circles here <laughs> am i in a time loop maybe i i am in some sort of time loop and i'm going around and around in circles i think so mohammed juba says we appreciate your efforts Thank you very much and don't forget i am here every day until you say that you don't need me anymore so the day that you say mr duncan we don't need you to help us during lockdown we don't need you anymore and then i will go away and i will do something else hello also to reshma nice to see you here as well Mr. Duncan's lessons are here for communicating with others. Yes, I think you're right. The reason why I do this and I do it live, the reason why I like to make my live streams is because it gives you an, a chance. It gives you an opportunity to listen to English being spoken spontaneously and also completely live as well, which I think is a very valuable thing i will be going soon by the way i'm going in a few moments i will be back tomorrow though i'm back tomorrow and you know what time i'm back 2 p.m uk time back tomorrow thank you also to david sanders hello david sanders thank you for saying hello isn't that nice also annie maria Mr. Duncan, we always need you. Well, I'm not sure if you need me all the time. Maybe when you go back to your normal lives, maybe when you're you can go back to work and perhaps when you can see all your friends and relatives again, maybe you won't need me every day. I will still be here, but not every day. So at some point there will be a point in the future when I will say I won't be doing my daily live streams anymore at the moment i will carry on is that okay i hope so hello valerie hello also to juan floors mr duncan how can i use the phrase i bet 
and I guess well I suppose you can use those when you are confirming something that you are sure of maybe I bet I bet he will be late this morning I bet he will be late something you are pretty sure of you are saying I bet he will I bet he will be late this morning or maybe I guess he will be late or I guess he is late or I guess he is going to be late so in that respect you are considering an opinion I guess he is late I think he is late if you say I bet he is late that means you are you are sure that he's late you are certain you are absolutely certain I bet he will be late today I bet he will that means you are very very sure very sure TS says as long as we need English we will need you thank you very much TS that's very kind of you to say thank you it's very kind don't forget I am back tomorrow back tomorrow 2 p.m. UK time tomorrow I am back with you again I hope you've had a good time today I will be packing my things away I will be hanging my washing out unfortunately I won't be hanging it here <laughs> because my my lovely gazebo my magic gazebo is here so I will have to hang my washing in the house I will thank you very much to Roxy mr. Duncan thanks for the opportunity to learn English with you you are welcome no problem don't forget I'm back tomorrow every day 2 p.m. UK time we can spend a little bit of time together listening learning and maybe having a few smiles as well I will see you tomorrow Maria mr. Duncan I have been taught English for 10 years but I began to understand it with you thank you very much Maria that's very kind of you thank you arts B thank you also Reshma I, I am going in a moment I hope you've enjoyed today's live stream thank you also to Gajnov Gajonov or Gajonov or Gajonov I hope I pronounce your name right there <laughs> sometimes I lie awake at night worrying did I pronounce the names correctly it causes me a lot of stress <laughs> thanks Beatriz catch you tomorrow see you tomorrow yes it is short normally I do two hours but today it will be one hour and 30 minutes and sadly that that time is up we have come to the end of today's live stream thank you Valerie thank you Palmyra you can watch this later if you've missed it you can watch it again later it will be available on my YouTube channel and also there will be captions as well see you tomorrow I hope you have a good day take care won't you this is mr. Duncan in the birthplace of English saying thank you very much for watching I hope you've enjoyed today's live stream see you tomorrow take care stay safe and most importantly of all stay happy ta-ta for now <laughs>